Hey guys, what's going on? It's your girl Pixie and I am back with another video. Um, if you guys are new to this channel, welcome to Pixie's World. If you guys are old, welcome back. Um, today's video is basically going to be about the things they don't tell you as a stripper. But before we get into that vid the video, please like, please comment, please subscribe, please share, please show your girl some love. Um, I do do nails, guys. Uh, my my Instagram is painted by Pixie, painted by Pixie underscore dot zero o. Um, if you are not in the Philadelphia area, of course you can't get your nails done by me. But liking, subscribing, sharing, showing off my stuff will be nice. Um, I make dance outfits for the dancers. Go check out my previous video. Um, not this last one, but the one before that, I do put my outfits on display. Um, I make outfits for the strippers um, at Twirl Up Pearl by Pixie. Um, Twirl Up Pearl by Pixie underscore dot zero dot zero O. And then my other Instagram is Pixie underscore by zero underscore. I'm sorry, dot zero O. And I'm going to leave all my Instagram, Snapchats and all that stuff in the description, guys. Excuse me if you see my eyes going back and forth. I wrote some notes for y'all because I really wanted to get this out for you guys. So let's get into the video, guys. Okay. So before we get into anything, let's let me audition in. Um, do your research. See what kind of vibes the club got. See what kind of um clothes they how they dress or whatever see see the body types there is it a gentleman's club is it an urban club is it an upscale club but there's a hole in the wall you know uh what's the dressing like do they dance in lingerie do they wear go-go clothes do they you know i've been in places where i felt like i was pretty but because i didn't know the dress code i probably didn't get hired and it's like that's something that i'm learning now like really do your research um you feel me? Have confidence. Um, if you don't got confidence, you you you're not gonna get far, baby. I mean, it, it takes time, you know. You're not gonna have it overnight, but be confident. Be sexy in your own self. It's a, it's a lot of beautiful girls. There's a lot of beautiful people, but it's only one you. So keep that in mind um, when you just in life and dancing, especially dancing. Um, don't get mad if a customer you're not that customer's body type because. You could change his mind or just, oh, I didn't like her, but she was cute. So you know what I mean? But it's going to be somebody for you. So don't trip about that. It's going to be, um, it's going to be somebody for y'all. Work on yourself. If y'all think y'all just going to come in a club and y'all just going to pop something and y'all going to get money, y'all sadly mistaken. It's, it's not that easy. It's not, um, it's, I'm not going to say it's super duper duper hard. It, it gets easier. It's some days that you go in there like, yeah, I know I'm going to kill it. But like, it's just some days where you got to work hard. It's not just walking up to people. You got to pull out some tricks. So like, I just want y'all to know that now. Um, next thing, this is the next thing I'm going to tell y'all. This is very important when thinking about stuff because it helps you level. It can make you or break you. But decide if this is going to be a career or if this is going to be a side hustle. Um, do you really want this to be a career? Are you doing what everything you supposed to supposed to do like and the reason why i say this it's just like a regular business a, like a business you want to do nails you want to sew you want to turn it into a business like you gotta hustle you gotta put that work in you gotta do what you gotta do like you gotta get in there so like if it's just a little side business or whatever you just want to make a little couple dollars then like just forget everything i'm saying you know still have confidence and stuff because you still gotta hustle but it's just like it's not that serious to you but if it's like something you want to make a career at like you got to promote yourself and you got to invest in yourself and you got to network and you got to put yourself out there. and You got to travel like you have to really like, like I said, treat this like a business. It is expensive, just like a business. You showing out money, you making mistakes, you learning, you blowing that bag. Sometimes you fuck up your profit like it happens. Um, Like I said, if you're not trying to do this full time, you don't really got that much to worry about. You're not really risking that much. But if you want this to be, you got to. You mean, um, it's expensive. You got to spend money to make money. If you're going to go to an upscale club, some hole in the walls, they let you do, it's like certain rules you could do. But if it's some upscale clubs, like they want you to have your feet. Then they have, once you have your nails done, you got to pay the DJ. You got to pay door fees. Sometimes you got to pay the house mom. You got to pay for shoes. You got to pay for outfits and keep in smile. Like you want to make that money back. So you got to really go hard. You know what I mean? Some clubs is not like, five hundred six dollar nightclubs some clubs is two hundred dollar three hundred dollar clubs like keep that in mind like you know when you're doing your research and you're going to clubs um 
if you, like I said, if you if wanted this to be a full-time career, you have to look like money. You have to look, get in the shape. You have to look like a bag. If you want people to spend it, you know what I mean? You got to really do do what you got to do. Um, you got to look like the money that you want. You got to, um, um, you know, you got to really get dressed up. And don't get me wrong, guys. You, everybody has bad days. So you got fake it till you make it. If it's a day where you just don't feel like doing all that extra makeup, don't. Put on some eyelashes and put a freaking cute-ass lip color on. Like, just a create like a nice different color lip color you'll probably usually wear. And put your hair in a nice little ponytail, slick the edges, and go in and just make sure the rest of your outfit cute. Like, you make it work. Like, you don't always have to go in there looking like top dollar, but don't go in there looking bad. You know what I mean? You don't always have to have makeup on, but just like... Let your bummy still be nice looking. You feel me? Like this is, this is a million dollar, multi billion dollar business. Getting shape, getting you know what I mean. Just don't worry about your body not looking like the next girl. Do what you gotta do for your body. Do what you gotta do for your confidence. Her, her, she might have big chest and you might have small chest. Your shape that you need to get into and the stuff you need to do is not the same stuff that she need to do. So, like, worry about yourself um, and that aspect of, like, getting in the shape. Don't think it's a perfect body because it's nobody perfect. And, like I said, everybody like different stuff. Um, don't stay stagnant. This goes hand in hand with what I was just saying. Build, grow. Like I said, if you want to do the downscale club to get your practice on, or like I said, if you only doing it side time, then, you know, whatever. But don't... What you, what you, where you stay at is where you gonna stay. If you don't do nothing new, you're not gonna get nothing new. If it's a club that's just like, you know what I mean? The them clubs that you only making two, three hundred dollars in, don't. It's, you're only gonna make two, three hundred dollars in it. Like, there's really nothing you could do more. You know what kind of clubs they is, especially like holding the walls. You got girls doing other stuff. I mean, and not even just holding the walls, but you got girls doing other stuff and tricking and doing this and that third. And it's like you about about to get so much money when everybody doing stuff. If you want an upstill club where you gotta pay twenty or thirty dollars to get in private rooms, it's better paying twenty dollars to get in a room and you don't get that. So like, just be mindful like you know just that kind of stuff um another thing is guys it's going to be drama anywhere you go any workplace it's going to be drama any job it doesn't matter um avoid um avoid drama don't get into nothing if you ain't in shit you ain't in shit. Like, you know what I mean? If it ain't got shit to do with you, it won't have shit to do with you. Um, you know, you don't know these people's lifestyles. You don't know what these girls get into. Some of them killers, some of them murderers, some of them scammers. You know, I've never met a killer. I don't want to go as far to say that, but you just never know. They scammers, they this, they that. You know what I mean? Girls be getting money and then you got some girls who don't even be really working hard so they'll find ways to scam other girls to get their money they hard earn money so like you got them girls that's like how they always getting money and you know they don't be working like be careful like you don't know people you don't know who know who watch what you say you can say something to another another girl about another girl the whole time that's her dance run because these girls it's float they float around they move around they go to the after hours they go into different clubs they go in this. you don't know who who know who so just mind your business sometimes shut the fuck up you know, when you watch, be observant, watch that kind of stuff. Um, the next thing I'm going to say, um, well, it's good and bad in every place. Let me put that out there as well. The next thing I'm going to say is like, stay away from them guys that's like, you're the one and they just all in your face and they talking your face off, but they're not tipping you. They're not really giving you no bread. Like, you know what I mean? Pet, smile and let them pass off the compliment. But it's like, they they understand that you at your place of work. So it's like, you're not going to be playing with me at my place of work. You know, I got to work. So don't let nobody just, you a star, you the one, you different than these girls. And they not going, they not showing it to you. Um, Stay positive. Um, I noticed that I started making more money, like when I was more happier and I look, cause sometimes I guess I got a mean girl, like, I guess, um, or, um, what was it? R RBF, rest in bitch face. Sometimes I guess, I don't know, but like, <laughs> sometimes I don't, maybe not as, I don't come off as friendly as I really am. Cause I'm a sweet girl, but I guess sometimes I don't look like that. I guess that be, that came out demeanor from being protective of myself, but you know, smile a little more, like have inviting energy. Like even if them girls is on, they were like, they can be like, you, 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 it's not. It will make, I'm telling you, while all that chaos is going on, it will make you more money. They will see that you're a positive person and make out be like, all right, well, I'm going to just spend my money with her. They over there acting crazy. They over there in drama. So just stay positive. And the um, last thing I'm going to show you, show, say you to you guys, it goes hand in hand about what I said about, um, you know, in the beginning, like do your research. Um, it's just like a business. Like, you know how in your business you got 
do research and you got to find out what's this in, what, what this go with what and what you got to do to take these steps like do your research like sit in a sit in the bars you know as a customer and watch how the girls move and what kind of goes on in the club and just like I said when you when you making a business you got to do a lot of research before you even when you get in, why you doing, why you doing it, why you want to elevate, you know, when you want to elevate your company, you don't stop doing research. So like, it's a business. You got to remember dancing is a business and I'm going to use some of these tips I applied to myself because I feel like I, I could be doing better as well, um, as well too. So, you know, these tips ain't going unnoticed even for myself. Um, but just, you know, just do your research and just figure out what's clubs for you and how they dress and what clubs you feel like. Go as a customer, fill the crowd, um, network with people, see what kind of dancers they like or whatever. And just talk to some of the girls and see what go down in there, you know, whatever, you know. So, you know, if you go as a customer instead of just looking like you just going in, you'll be able to chill and stuff. So just, you know, sometimes you got to spend money to make money. Pay your little $20 to get in there and get some information. You know what I mean? So... Um, that's really going to be all that I got for this video. Um, guys, thank you for showing the love and thank you for the support that you guys, I'm really trying to grow my channel and I'm just going to keep going, but I will see you guys in another video. You already know what I'm going to say to y'all. Please pray to God. Please protect your peace. And I'll see y'all in another video. Mwah.